Almighty Allah. Welcome to this time English news service from Khurshid Global TV channel. U.S. President Donald Trump and a complete reversal said on Friday he would hold a summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on June 12 in Singapore and the latter's twist in the high-stakes diplomacy over eliminating Pyongyang's nuclear arm program. Eight days after canceling the unprecedented summit, citing Pyongyang's open hostility, Trump welcomed North Korea's former intelligence chief currently under punitive use sanctions to the White House Oval Office. Afterward, exchanging smiles and handshakes, patting his arm in a friendly gesture. Good meeting today, I think it is a great start, Trump said, after conferring for about 90 minutes with Kim jong Kool, who became the first North Korean official to visit the White House in 18 years and who has the U.S. president called the second most powerful man in North Korea. Trump said he expelled Trump said he expected an eventual very positive result with North Korea, but but damn it, expectations for a big draw in Singapore. Israeli forces killed a Palestinian nurse on Friday as she tried to help a wounded protesters at the Gaza border, according to health officials and a witness, while Israeli said militants had attacked its troops with gunfire and grenades. Razan al Najjar's death brought to 119 the number of Palestinians killed in weekly demonstrations launched on March 30 in the Gaza Strip, an enclave long subjected to grinding Israeli and Egyptian embargoes. Najjar, a 21 year old volunteer medic, was shot as she ran toward the fortified border fences east of the South Gaza city of Khan Yunus in a bid to reach a casualty of witness said. Wearing a white uniform, she raised her hands high and clear way, but Israeli soldiers fired and she was hit in the chest. The witness who requested anonymity told Reuters. Socialist Party leader Pedro Sanchez has been sworn in by King Flip in Spain's new prime minister on Saturday after successfully bringing a no-confidence motion against Mariano Rojo on Friday. The vote was triggered by a corruption scandal involving Rajoy's portrait popular. There was scene of jubilation in the Spanish parliament, but Spain's political future looks uncertain. The Socialist Party only holds 84 seats in the Congress of Deputies, so Sanchez will have to rely on securing the support of allies such as left-wing Podemos in order to enact legislation. The king has been informed of the appointment of the new prime minister and Sanchez is, is, expe and Sanchez is expected to name a cabinet early next week. Then it could be a question of just how long the government can last in a divided parliament. Myanmar is willing to take back all 700,000 Rohingya Muslim refugees who have fled to Bangladesh if they volunteer to return the country's national security advisor, Song Tun, said on Saturday. He was speaking at the Shangri-La Dialogue Regional Security Conference in Singapore where he was asked if the situation in Myanmar's Rakhine state where most Rohingya left could trigger use of the responsibility to protect framework of the United Nations. The so-called R2P framework was adopted at the 2015. The so-called R2P framework, the so-called R2P framework was adopted at the 2005 UN World Summit, in which nations agreed to protect their own populations from genocide, war crimes, ethnic cleansing, and crimes against humanity, and and accepted a collective responsibility to encourage and help each other uphold this commitment. That was all from English News Service of Khurshid Global TV channel. Thank you for watching us. Wish you have a good night. Bye.